When most of us think about Christmas, we think about the songs we sing, no, 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 no. our list of wishes that we would like to get. We think about the food we're going to eat, where we might go, who we might see, the Christmas tree. I mean, the list goes on and on. But have you ever stopped to think about the logistics of Christmas, the very science of Christmas? Because you know who has? Super Santa has thought of the science of Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that there is science behind Christmas? Yes, Green Bear. I mean, think about the calculations going around the world, making sure that you've plotted out all the houses and then and carrying all the toys. And I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Oh, man. Me too. How does he do it? I love science, so I'm really going to dig this. Also, question for you. Yeah, hit me. Why are you wearing your glasses around your neck? I'm trying something. Oh, okay. And can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Uh, why are you wearing eyeglasses that have no glass in them? Oh, I, I, I'm trying something. Cool, okay. Oh, science! All right, science! I mean, we're practically like a science experiment, Green Bear and I. All right, let's see. Super Santa, the science of Christmas and already... This Santa does not look like other Santas. I mean, before, I never noticed that there might be like some super suit underneath the jolly red coat and the white fur. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's already begun. Oh, sure. You think that, oh, yeah, maybe this elf is just pushing along this this Santa hat with some goggles and a microphone, but this is not just a Santa hat and goggles and microphone. Oh no, this is the Kringle X42. That means there have been 41 previous models. Oof. The book hasn't even begun yet, and already we see what is happening here. We have Dasher, who is in the swirl machine, which means snow, wind, ice, rain, laboratory. Wow, and it's set on Blizzard. Whoa, oh man, look at Dasher go, hitting up all the elements and uh, hold on there, buddy. And he's pouring out the snow and it's getting really cold in here. That is a cold page. You know what, I'm gonna change the page because I'm, I'm not really dressed for this kind of blizzard weather. Hey ho, here we go. Oh, hey, redheaded elf. It's countdown time. Just minutes away from Christmas Eve, the most magical night of the year. Let's take a peek behind the scenes to see how things are going in Santa's workshop. Oh, and look, her name is Holly, and obviously she is jolly, and it's the 23rd of December, so things have to be super busy in the North Pole. All year long, we elves have been hustling and bustling, making presents for all the good boys and girls around the world. How many presents? Whoa, it looks like a lot. Well, Santa visits about 200 million homes on Christmas, depending on who's been naughty or nice. And if you figure two nice kids per house getting three presents each, Jumpin' Jack Frost! That's over a billion presents! A billion presents! A billion presents! Line them up and they could stretch three times around the earth. Luckily, Santa has designed his workshop to handle this crazy workload. And look, there's a whole conveyor belt of pre-decorated Christmas trees and, and, and he's going down this one and she's running and, and this guy's like, burp, burp, burp. And there's like a whole, oh, look, there's a list of kids here. Are you here? Yeah, I have a, um, I can't see the name. Is that you? I can't tell. But, oh, somebody here wants a bike and... This kid wants a teddy bear, and I can't tell what this... Oh, nice! That's what it says! And then the information's below. So these are the nice kids and exactly what they want. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, I hope, I hope that she gets a pink one. Everybody knows pink is the best. Oh, maybe. You never know. In the garage, Mrs. Claus and her team are double-checking Santa's sled. Whoa, 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 whoa! Can we stop for a minute to look at this Mrs. Claus? Have you ever seen her looking so fashionable and fit and fierce with a sassy short haircut and her cute little overalls and she's wielding power tools? You go, girl. 
This isn't some dime a dozen toboggan. Tonight, it'll travel 20 million miles. Oh, that is a lot of miles in one night. That's like flying to the moon and back five times. It would take Superman more than a year to deliver all the presents that Santa does in one night. Ooh, is this going to be a Santa versus Superman situation? No, Santa's not versus anybody. He's pro everybody. Ugh, this isn't the way I like it at all. But... Maybe there'll be a fight later. No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Why is she even here? She doesn't celebrate Christmas. So these guys are welding and shining because it's got to be perfectly clean and shiny. And they're presenting the plans to the missus. And this one's working on some other equipment. And they're under the chassis. And he's making sure that the pedals are good. And, and then the seat is looking shiny and comfy. And... And they've got machines hooked up. This is a very sophisticated operation. But then, when you pile on all the presents, holy holly berries! Even if the average gift weighs as much as a Lego set, about two pounds, the sleigh will have to carry more than a million tons. It's like Santa's carrying around three Empire State Buildings in his little red sled. Three Empire State Buildings? Whoa, I better not ask for one of those and it'll be too heavy. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't ask for an Empire State Building. Building Red Bear. And let's see, we have the weight station, 127,538 tons. And we're loading. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, this is a very careful operation, very delicate. We've got to fit a lot into a small space. It's all about stacking properly, as this guy's telling them right there. And she's operating the Santa Claw. Get it? The Santa Claw. That is so fun. Wait, who is it? Oh. Illustrated by Guy Francis. Funny guy. That was a good joke, Francis, of Guy. Uh, in France, we call him Guy. Oh, so he's a funny Guy? Oui, he's a funny Guy. Mm -hmm, that makes sense. So, what's really amazing, though, is that even at the speed, with all that weight, the whole sled can still safely come to a stop, bippity bop, in the space of a single roof. Otherwise, it could be a total disaster! I'd like to see that. That's never, ever going to happen. I'm going to put it on my Christmas list. You're on the naughty list. What do you even... Which Jefferson? So, Santa's crew spends weeks tuning up the bricks. The super sled shocks. There's the brake pads coming in. There they are inspecting the situation. And making sure that the reindeer's hooves are super duper non-skid. At the North Pole, we don't take any chances when it comes to everyone's safety. And let's look at the prep area here. This is quite the salon situation happening here. I love how Vixen is getting a back rub and a whole mani to go with her petty situation, which is the non-skid sticky root hoof application. And oh, followed up by a nice shine with some antler shine because you need to look your best on Christmas Eve, even if you are working. And let's see, this that's Donner, I believe, talking to Prancer. And Prancer's reading up on the world news. Donner's got himself a world famous cup of ho ho co co. Hey ho! Oh no, it's almost go time! But before he takes off, we have to help Santa into his suit. Ho ho! Look at this suit! It's, 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 this is really epic. At the speeds he'll be traveling, things might get toasty and the compression is out of this world. That's why St. Nick's suit has to be super specially designed. It needs to handle all the heat and pressure that comes with such high speed travel. Again, it's the science of Christmas. I mean, if you're going to be traveling that fast, it makes sense that it wouldn't feel like normal travel, right? Where you're all comfortable and cozy inside the cabin of your airplane. Uh-uh. This is open air. You're in a sled. You're going at like a bazillion miles an hour. So all this boop, 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 is essential. And speaking of pressure, Santa had better come get a move on or he won't be able to deliver all the presents before sunrise. Here's the Crinkle X42 and look at that. They're testing it for heat. <laughs> They're putting fire on his butt. <laughs> his pants are on fire. His pants are on fire. Oh yeah, his pants are on fire. Uh, let's see what else is happening here, but like literally it is on fire actually. And they're checking the elbow pads and that is... An impressive look. I mean, Top Gun, eat your heart out. 
<gasps> Bing bong ka chung chung. <laughs> oh, this does not look good. Uh oh, the conveyor belt's jammed. All elves on deck, all elves on deck. Looks like too many kids were nice this year. Too many kids were nice? Is that a problem? Oh yes, that's definitely a problem. Ah, uh, snuffering, suffering snowballs. What'll we do? I can help with that. No, no, no. Thank you, Witch Everson, so much for that offer. Uh. In the thick of it all, Santa and Mrs. Claus stay cool. Because this is a cool couple, yo. She leads the loading while Santa makes sure the presents are all strapped on tight. But we're almost a half hour behind schedule now. How will he ever make up all that time? Isn't it just classic? It happens to Santa. It happens to everybody. You plan for a trip. You know it's coming. You know the time you have to leave. And you're still running late at the last minute. Even in the North Pole, this happens. Three, two, one, ka-choo! Hey ho, away they go in a sprinkle of stardust and snowflakes. As the sleigh leaves, the big guy winks as if to say, oh, ho, ho, all will be well. Will he go fast enough? I hope so. Will the sleigh hold up under all the weight? It better. Will he be able to hit the brakes perfectly on every rooftop? Uh, ooh, this is where it gets really interesting. But don't worry, it says. We all know that he will. Santa has it all figured out. Kris Kringle is a Christmas superhero. And look at that. The Christmas countdown is down to zero because it is time. Go time. Santa Claus Lane is here. And they even hand drew a good luck sign. And they're all working the controls, making sure everything looks good. And it does. And these guys are doing the thing that you see them do with the planes. And even the glitter machine is popping. What a takeoff! Oh, and look, it's leaving the beautiful North Pole behind. Whoosh, with a whoosh. Santa and his reindeer zoom away at 730,000 miles per hour. 730,000 miles per hour. That's really, really fast. That's how fast the sled has to go to reach every house in time. If you were to accelerate as fast as Santa does, the G-forces would make it feel like there were 17 blue whales on top of you. And let me tell you, uh, yes, Tibby Tiburon, that does not feel good. Not good at all. I don't know what scenario that would have happened in. But for Santa, in his super suit, it's no big thing. To make up for lost time, Santa puts his super smarts to work again by flying from east to west across the international dateline. He's able to turn Christmas Eve into 31 hours of darkness for his deliveries. Ooh, 31 hours of darkness sounds like a dream. Well, it for the witch, for different reasons, but yes, ideal for Santa because he gets more travel time. What a Brilliant idea. Again, the science. He's blinding me with science. In fact, he's doing so well that Santa has time to chow down 400 million, that's a million cookies, and drink almost 200 million glasses of milk. Taken together, that's enough calories in one night to keep someone going, well, for years. But Santa needs every last bite. Delivering this many presents is hard work. Uh, I noticed you snuck up on the page, Green Bear. This is the most beautiful page I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, it, it's it's cookie rific. I'll say. Um, can. Green Bear? Uh. Hey, Green Bear? Green Bear? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna turn the page. Okay. Sh shouldn't you move for a little bit? I, I, I don't wanna stop looking at this page. Tell you what, we'll come back to it at the end. How about that? You promise? Of course. Okay. Goodbye, beautiful cookie page. I'll be back. As the sun peeks over the horizon, here comes sleepy-eyed Santa. There he is, all yawning. Oh, no. What is the science of yawning? We'll have to read that book, too. You see somebody yawn, and then you yawn, and you're probably yawning now. I'm sorry. Uh, so... Sleepy eye Tanda, nine very tired reindeer, and one, look at that, 
empty sleigh. It's been another exhausting but successful Christmas Eve. La 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 la. Hey ho! What do you know? Bet you never thought that Santa was a Christmas superhero. Yes, we all did, didn't we? You knew that. I knew that. It's all part of this special day's sparkle. But none of it would be possible without a little science and engineering and a whole lot of Christmas magic. Oh, what? Is Mrs. Claus, again, looking amazing. What is she doing? She's got some fancy engineering contraption to make this bear for some kid, some very lucky kid. Oh, I hope she makes a green bear. Everybody knows that green bears are the best bears. Yes, of course, green bears are the best bears. And what is Santa working on? Oh, Santa's workshop design plan number 225. The man is a scientist. And it says here, uh, no jam conveyor belt. Oh, remember when we had the crisis with too many good kids? Which again, I totally offered to help with. Yes, thank you so much. We don't need your help with Jefferson. All right, but if you change your mind, I know where to find you. But remember when there were too many good kids and then the thing jammed and now he's gonna come up with a solution, the no jam belt, uh, fueled of course by this delicious tray of chocolate chip cookies and peppermint that Holly's bringing. And of course, fueled by the world famous Ho Ho Co Co from the North Pole. And everybody's already working because we only have 365 days till next Christmas. So when you are opening that perfect gift on Christmas morning, pause for a moment. Think about everything that Santa has done to put a present in your hands and send up a thank you to Super Saint Nick, Mrs. Claus's can-do attitude, and the most tech-savvy team of elves in the whole North Pole. Look at that bright and jangly crew. And they sing, and they cook, and they dance too. They can do it all. And because I promised, you know. Isn't this a beautiful book? Oh, oh here we go, Green Bear. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna stay here for a little while. Okay, you're gonna just take in the science of it all? Yeah, the cookiness of it all. Okay, all right, well, I hope that you can, you can take in all the cookiness of it all and imagine eating 400 million cookies in one night. <sighs> I'm already imagining it right now. Mm hmm of course he is. Well, kid, now you know the science behind Christmas and you have to be super to do what Santa does, don't you? Yeah, super Santa to the rescue. That's right. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Storytime, where we keep it merry.